Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a very good day. Let's get started with this book and movie review on The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. My heart, my heart, so heavy. The book in particular, although it's a very dark and heavy subject matter, reading it from Bruno's eyes, this nine-year-old boy's perspective, counteracted the darkness in a way. Our main character is Bruno. He is a nine-year-old boy. He lives in Berlin and the story opens up with him finding out that he and his family is actually moving to live in the countryside in this isolated area. Bruno is quite upset about this because he's leaving everything he's familiar with behind to this unknown place. When Bruno and his family moves into this new house, he finds out there's no other families or other kids he can play with or interact with. So Bruno goes on some adventures. He goes exploring. Bruno meets this other nine-year-old boy. He's the boy in the straight pajamas. Let's talk about the characters next. Let's talk about Bruno. Bruno is your typical boy. He enjoys playing with his friends. He likes exploring. He loves reading adventure stories. It's very interesting interesting to read from his perspective. You get to see how naive he is to his whole surroundings. Although Bruno observes what's going on with his father and the soldiers around his home, he doesn't fully comprehend and understand what all of it means. And it's very disturbing to know that Bruno doesn't know what his family is doing, particularly his father, the commander. And although Bruno shows moments of weakness and cowardice, I think deep down Bruno is a good kid. Next guys, let's talk about Schmal, the boy in the striped pajamas. Like Bruno, he's naive to his surroundings as well. It's great to see the similarities between both boys. You see that they're one in the same and although their circumstances are very different, they share common interests, their love for their family members. And reading about Bruno and Schmal's relationship, their genuine friendship is both beautiful and horrifying at the same time. Next guys, let's talk about the plot. I thought the plot was very steady paced. You know, I was pulled into Bruno's story, reading about his time in his new home, his interactions with Maria and Pavel to see Bruno's innocence and his genuine nature. So as the plot progressed, the plot became more heavy and unsettling. But John Boyne doesn't get into the horrifying details of the Holocaust and the concentration camp is purely from Bruno's point of view and what he sees and what he's trying to understand. So it had a very childlike innocence and quality to it. Knowing about the Holocaust, knowing about this time period, it was very intriguing to read from this different point of view. It was pretty pretty unsettling is a good word. So with that being said guys, I'm going to give The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boy. Four stars out of five. I read this book pretty much in one sitting. It's a very quick, easy read. Next, guys, I want to do a quick movie review on The Boy in the Straight Pajamas. It was first released in 2008. The director and screenwriter is Mark Herman. Our actors, we have Asa Butterfield, who plays Bruno. Jack Scanlon, who plays Schmoll. I was very surprised to see Lupin as the commander, the father of Bruno. And I was also surprised to see Mr. Wickham in this flick as well, Rupert Friend. I thought the casting was on point. I thought the acting was great from the two boys, Bruno and Schmoll. Seeing Bruno encounter Schmoll for the first time, my heart broke. I was tearing up. I was crying throughout the film. Like I said in my update video, some gateway, emotional gateway kind of opened within me. Anything remotely sentimental, sad, or emotional, I start tearing up very easily. Never happened before, never. Anyways, I thought the actress who played the mother on point, very well done. Seeing the mother unravel and crumble as the film progressed really captured the pain of this whole situation. It was very emotional and intense and oh, her performance was great in this film. And as far as the look of the film, very well done as well. I thought you were really pulled into this time period, this World War II era from the costume design the setting, the location shots, you were there and it was very horrifying and very authentic. So as a film as a whole, I thought it was very beautifully shot, well executed. As far as the book to movie comparison, I thought the adaptation, the interpretation of the book is very well done. Even though the movie didn't capture the book scene for scene, I thought Mark Herman did an excellent job of capturing Bruno's story from the beginning to the end. It really captured the darkness and the heaviness of the subject matter and of this time period. So with that being said guys, I'm going to give the boy in the striped pajamas the film 
five stars out of five. I think the visuals just took me over the edge. It was really emotional for me to watch. Like I said, I think the mother really captured the pain and the darkness and the heaviness of the subject matter. I think that aspect, that emotion was put on the mother's shoulders and that innocence and Bruno's naive nature was his to carry. So I highly suggest checking the book and film out for sure. Definitely a heavy subject matter, but I think from this different perspective, I think the juxtaposition works well. So that's everything guys. I hope this book and movie review was somewhat helpful. You guys know what's up next is my October book haul. Very excited for October. So be on a lookout for that. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.